Hello, my name is Carl Surrey and this is a video tutorial for the Facebook group called Fans of Serif Software. Now, this video will be done in Serif's new photo product, Affinity Photo, but it will work just as well in their older photo product, Photo Plus, as well as in any um, photo editing program that can use layer masks and layers. Um, I just want to look at layer masks and how they work. Now there are two sort of types of layer mask. There's one that is going to be solid white and one that can be solid black. Now by default um, Photo, Affinity Photo and Photo Plus will set up and add a layer mask in solid white. Um, so you can do that by just clicking on the icon here in the bottom of the layer display area which is a white square with a black circle in the middle. But before I do that I just want to duplicate this bottom layer twice you don't have to do this, I am just doing this for demonstration purposes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just come down to monochrome dirda. Just wait for that to do its thing, which will convert this layer into a black and white image that's grainy. So if I turn that layer off, turn the top layer on and highlight it and do the same thing. So I'll turn the colour um, monochrome dither. So I now have two layers of exactly the same with the monochrome dither. So I'm going to add a layer mask to each of these layers, We've got one in black and one in white just to show the difference and at the bottom we have the original so uh, let me turn on highlight this middle layer and turn on the effect that I added to it and so I will now add a layer mask to that layer and as you can see it has added a white layer mask to that layer and what white will do which will now allow everything to come through the layer mask whereas if I put a black one a layer mask onto a layer it will hide the effect so let me just turn that off for now highlight the top layer and this time I'm going to make it a black layer mask. Now unfortunately in Affinity Photo, as far as I can tell and I've seen, you cannot just add a black layer mask from a menu or what have you. You could in Photo Plus, you could have gone to layer, um, and I think there's, if I remember correctly, there's like add a layer mask and then there'll be other options where you could have reveal or, or hide or which means you could have had a black or white layer mask. In Affinity Photo you don't seem to have that option. What you need to do is to add the layer mask, which will be white still, and then invert it. And you can do that either from the Layers menu and click Invert, or press Ctrl and I. And as you can see now, that icon has now turned black and it is hiding the effect of the monochrome dither which I added earlier and it's allowing everything to come through from the bottom image or even the, the image that's on that layer. So that's the difference between the black layer mask and a white layer mask. So let me just turn that off as well and come back to 
this middle layer and turn it on again so we now have the monochrome dither with a white layer mask now on a white layer mask you need to paint black we get the paintbrush tool and now black has become the foreground color and you can alter the hardness of the brush I'm leaving mine around a 50% mark let me just raise the opacity up to 100 and then all I need to do is to start painting I have to make sure that it is the layer mask that we are painting on at the moment there's a little white line around the icon for the layer I just need to click on the layer mask to make sure that that is the one I'm painting on if you do make a mistake like I just did you can just press Ctrl and Z to undo it so by painting black onto this white layer mask we are going to hide the effect of the monochrome diver which I added earlier and let me just do this in, for the sake of speed and not boring your all to tears this is only going to be a fairly rough painting here so if you'll bear with me in the fact that it may not be perfect obviously if you're doing this yourself you would make a much better job of this go pretty much there go got a bit of color in a black and white image just by using a layer mask and painting black onto it so let me just turn these off come back to this top layer and make sure it is the layer mask that is highlighted and not the icon, uh, icon for the layer and because this is a black layer mask I'm now going to paint white onto it and when I paint white onto this black layer mask it will allow the monochrome diver that the layer mask is sitting on to show through so basically what it means is depending on how large an area you want the layer mask to hide or show will depend on which color of layer mask you use because I mean if you only wanted to, a little bit of the effect to show through it's better to have used a black layer mask and just paint that little bit rather than having a white layer mask and having to paint this really large area and just li and leaving this bit area this area that you didn't want so the larger the area that you want to be visible you would use the white layer mask um, and if you want the smaller the, the smaller area to show through with whichever effect you've picked then a black layer mask would be a better choice so depending on what you want to do will depend on what color layer mask you do you use let me turn all these off so we come back to our original background image and what I will do is I will add um, let's go for the hue saturation slider and if I just quickly go back to the layers panel as you can see this tool as many other tools in the adjustment panel will add its own layer mask now that layer mask as by default will be white if you press Control and I you can change it to black 
Hopefully you can see that okay. So this will work in the same way as what I have done up here. You can hide a smaller area or a larger area depending on what it is you want to do. So what I would do is I'll just change this back to white. So control and I. I'm going to boost up the colors quite dramatic a bit over the top but I will do that to it and as it is a white layer mask I need to be painting black onto it and if I paint black quickly and roughly over this area I will be hiding the effect of that hue saturation tool and bringing this area back to its original color leaving the rest of that area to be boosted and you can also if I lower the opacity down to say 50% I could just knock back some of that extra boosting on the color on this building for example so the boosting of color is only now affecting that area this has been knocked back slightly and this has been taken back altogether. So if I just turn that on and off, that's the original, and that's with the hue saturation slider. So I hope that demonstrates how the layer mask works, be it the white layer mask or a black layer mask. You just need to really know beforehand which version you want and wh whichever version you pick make sure you pick the opposite color to paint onto the layer mask but you must make sure you are painting onto the layer mask and not the actual pixel layer hopefully that was helped somebody thank you for watching and goodbye